Jared, so we're talking OAC, we're talking wrestling, and we're talking growth, right? Growth mindset, you know, you're a growth guy, you're all about um, helping things grow, state of Ohio wrestling, right? And let's just, first things first, OAC started a wrestling championship in the 90s, right? 90s, yeah, back when uh, you and I were in high school. So, uh, 98, I want to say, is the first year. 98, 99 season. Okay, mm-hmm. so we're at it over 20 years now. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, 22. And it started here in, in St. Mary's Gym, right? Uh, Sandusky High's middle school gym. Okay, yeah. so so middle school gym at Sandusky, right down the road, actually. Mm-hmm. It's a couple blocks, actually, yeah, from, from okay. St. Yeah. Mary's, right? It's next door to St. Mary's High School. It's right, right there. there. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now it's in the Cavalli Center, mm-hmm. and I feel comfortable. I like the Cavalli Center. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty good, but we've added championships every year, right? Mm-hmm. Last three seasons have been crazy because there's been girls, mm-hmm. there's been divisional states, mm-hmm. and there's been a freshman. Yeah, freshman's right? last year. Right. So it went from grade school, grade school to junior high. Junior high, then grade school. Yeah. Junior high, five-year grade school, and then, um, and then divisional. This will be third year for divisional, third year for girls. Last year was a second year, or first year for freshmen. But, uh, yeah, freshmen uh, can be big this year. We have a two-day tournament. Last year was just one day. Yeah. Uh, kind of expand that it was like capped at 225 so probably be you know add another 100 wrestlers or so to that this year uh girls you know that grew by over 100 last year so we you know see that uptick hopefully this year uh and then uh divisional third year first year sold out also capped that out at 550 then 750 last year uh this year we're actually putting at two sites so you're like class a class double a so you're like d1 d2 schools will be so Marysville, but our, your small school, single A, will be at Hilliard Darby. So Moody and uh, Thatcher over there running that tournament over there. So, And then uh, the big change this year is a grade school. Uh, going from six, uh, you know, for, let's, since the inception of a grade school, it's been eight districts to one state tournament. Now it's going to be 16 sectionals, eight districts to one state. So it's... Uh, the districts were just so big. You know, we had 500. You were, you know, been to Burium Mid Park and all those Jackson. It's like 500. Steubenville. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. It's huge. crazy. Yeah, I've been to, I've been yeah. to uh, Perrysburg, right. Clay right. when they had it. Like, I've been yeah, everywhere right, for right. it, and they're massive. They're right? Big, Thomas right? Worthington. Thomas, yeah. Thomas yeah. Worthington's got three gyms, I want to yeah. say. Um, Jackson, you're thinking of Jackson. They got three right. gyms. Yeah. I can't and, keep and up with it, right? It was just too big, you know. Not too big, but, you know what I mean? It's. Like six of the eight for the last five years have reached capacity. So, you know, if you're living in Southwest Ohio, Northeast Ohio, I'm like, sorry, we're at capacity. So you would have to get up and take take your wrestler to Columbus or Central Ohio, and it might not work on that weekend for you. You know what I mean? So um, we hope with that section of the district, it, you know, creates more um, you know manageable tournaments and gym sizes and brackets. I mean, it was capped at 32 man brackets. We'd have 32 man brackets for a you know. A grade school kid, you know, that's a lot of wrestling in one day. So, you know, hopefully this pairs it down to, you know, manageable size brackets and, you know, good for the parents and the fans sitting in the seats, you know, you're not sitting there all day, you know. You know, it'll be some long days at a district tournament. So I think in the long run this is gonna gonna be what's best for how youth wrestling. And you got your, your maniacs like your Chad Dennis's who yeah, don't have the right weekends lining up because right. they're head high school coaches. Right, yeah. I know Crabtree's a head right, high school right, coach. Yeah, so right. these guys gotta go. The weekend don't work for him. Mm-hmm. You know, I know Dennis had to go to Perrysburg mm-hmm. for his right, kid, right. for his actual son, right? So, yeah. So, now, like, you can go to any section in any district. So, it's not like you have to go to, you know, Carver actually has a section. Like, if you go to Carver, you don't have to go to Perry- Perrysburg. So, it should uh, give you some flexibility in that, too. So Kenston. Um, you you Kenston, hooked me up. Yeah, Kenston. That's three miles away from home, right? I haven't seen him in years. Right? <laughs> so, so now that's – yeah. I live three miles mm-hmm. from Kenston. Mm-hmm. Now, there's no problem. You know, we can just go right to Kenston if we need to. Well, we won't be, but – I get what you're yeah. like with kids with their athletes, yeah, right? right. Da- parents, dads, coaches, right? Mm-hmm. So there's flexibility. Right. When right. you look at it, there's flexibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you guys, I don't think you can stop the growth. Well, it's, you know, it's, you, you know, slowly, surely, but slowly, you know, keep Ohio wrestling strong. You know, it's, uh, you know, been on the mat for years. You want to make sure the kids are sticking to the sport. You know, the district, you know, they've been tough. You know, some of these kids that, you know, might be late bloomers, might be giving up on the sport, you know, and, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth grade because they're not the all-star compared to their buddy. Now, you know, if they're, you know, having a little bit of success, hanging with their friends and, you know, sticking with the sport, you know, some guys don't, you know, have that success early or have that, you know, they don't stick with the sport long enough to realize, okay, I'm, I'm making strides. And, you know, they're looking at, 
the big picture instead of the small incremental changes. Hopefully this, you know, provides that. Specialization, you know, we've talked about specialization a lot. Yeah. And that's where your division three and your division four. Right, that's the that's the big big change and and right. pair down for you guys right. is division three, three to division four, right? Right, because right. right? then division four there's a shrink, right. there's right. There, you right. know you're having off, yeah. because kids are specializing, and whether it's baseball, yeah. whether it's you know we're here at a football championship yeah. today, yeah. and people are specializing. I, I I'm just gonna personally me, yeah. I'm not a specialization guy. Yeah. Me neither. You, you, you know, yeah. Yeah. neither one of us was right. Yeah. If you look, we both yeah. played three yeah. sports yeah. in high school, yeah. three sports in junior high. Yeah. And then now people are going all eggs in one basket, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and for you, you guys are going to make money off of people who, you know, they're either way, whether kids want to be football players, mm -hmm. there's OAC. Whether kids want to do track, there's OAC. Mm -hmm. Whether they want to wrestle, there's OAC. Mm -hmm. But specialization, we'll talk on, on specialization a little bit. And you and I aren't specialized guys, right? right? We're, we're all three sport, all three seasons, four mm -hmm. seasons now, right? Mm -hmm. um, talk about specialization a little bit. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I've, you know, I don't. I can see why people do it. You know, it's you know everyone's choice, but you and I, like we said, we aren't specialization guys. I think there's more to it. You know, you talk about overuse injuries, but I think the most important aspect is in the leadership qualities. You know, if you're, you know, when you were playing football, right, it, you communicated with your teammates different than you did in wrestling or track, right? You had your track buddies, you had your wrestling buddies. Probably, I mean, probably a lot of similar guys, right? Yeah. For you, what's crazy right? is I played uh, with a Matt Keller. He was yeah, a basketball player, yeah, yeah. but he was their tailback, right, and he right. was as tough as any wrestler. Yeah, 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 the guy was nails, yeah, right? Yeah. And if you look at, like, I don't know, you look at a basketball player, for example, Margaret had a guy, Bruner. Mm -hmm. Bruner was tough as nails, but yeah. he was a basketball guy, yeah, right, right? right? So it's it's different, like you're saying, but basketball guys are tough, too. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, us yeah, wrestling yeah. people, we tend to think we're the best. Mm -hmm. We're the grittiest. We're the toughest, but... There's other guys who are baseball players who are pretty tough, tough yeah. right? There's track people who are tough. There's cross country people who are tough. Yeah. I think we, we we get into ourselves and read a, you know. Oh, uh, it's always you know defend our turf type thing, right? Yeah. And it's just that mentality, I think. But uh, but like I said, I think with those other sports, you learn you know you're talking to you know Keller a different way than you're talking to Pat Kane, you know, or you know you got in track season, you know, you know whether it's communication or leadership styles, you know, I think that's you know when you're. You're, you learn to interact with different groups of people, and that's kind of life. You know, you're not going to always be working with the same group of people, and I, I think that's the biggest aspect kids lose out on if they specialize. You know, how you communicate with this group of people, you know, and the leadership qualities you can, you know, how, how you get through and break through to people as far as getting the most out of them. You know, so when you look at you know bringing a girls division in, you know, that's something where you said that the growth's going to be a hundred. Well, it, it grew by a hundred last year, yeah. yeah. So it's going to grow by another hundred potentially. Yeah, we hope. I mean, with the uh, the coach association, they're putting our, theirs on in February. That's that's going to be awesome this year. You know, you just you see it already this fall. Of how many programs are starting across the state, and um, you know, it's going to be a good year. I think you know, a good couple of years for girls wrestling. So, um, you know, it, it 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 can only help the sport in general overall. You get girls wrestling, so. You know, they, they put theirs on in February. We're going to have ours in March. And uh, actually, our high school division, we had it last year. The high school division is open to any state, actually. Not many people knew that. We had a couple out-of-state. Really? Races. Yeah. you got to figure, you know, in the past, the high schoolers are probably wrestling the same girls quite a bit. So we kind of changed it up last year. Two years, we didn't have a high school because it actually was in February. It was still in our season. We had it down at Harrison. And then last year, we went to Cavalli, so it was after season. And we opened up to out-of-state wrestlers. So we had a couple out-of-state. Not a lot, but... Um, so we hopefully that provides a little different competition for those high school girls. Uh, the youth and middle school will be Ohio only, but um, so it should be some growth there.